is just about six months ago, I think, that Randy, the author of tonight's book, um, uh, called me. We were at a, a book conference in California at the time. He mentioned that he was from this area, that he had a Karen Carpenter bio coming, and that it was from Chicago Review Press. Really good imprint, by the way. Impressive. And um, it, was, it was one of the quickest, easiest, no questions asked bookings that I had done up to that point. Um, uh, a few months later, the book comes along. I got to read it a little early. It's terrific. You're going to love it. Um, and uh, I, I don't know what else to say except that working with Randy has been, has been delightful. Um, his, the stories that he's told me over the phone about the process of working on the book and the interviews he got to do, the people he got to meet, um, have been terrific. And I know he's going to share some of them with you tonight. He's going to speak about the project, read from the book, take your questions and then we'll come up and sign copies afterwards. So um, thanks very much again for coming. And Randy, thank you. Let's see if this works. All right. Thank you so much for braving the elements tonight and coming out on this rainy day and Friday. I thought about that about 30 minutes ago. So. Um, yeah. But thank you again so much, and um, it's really an honor, and I see lots of faces I don't know, and that's, that's really good, too, because it's nice to have family and friends around, but then to, to meet new people and to meet um, other fans from the area, fans of Karen, and it's really exciting, and I appreciate you coming tonight. Um, this project has been something I've worked on off and on and indirectly, not with the idea of doing a book, but for about 20 years now. I was... Um, as I'll, I'll read in just a moment from my author's note, I was 13 when I fell in love with Karen's voice and her story all at one time. And I wanted to learn everything I could and kind of play catch up as far as um, her story and her music because I was born right in the middle of the Carpenter's heyday and um, missed it all the first time around. So that kind of um, gave me that little bit of, um, of a push to find out all that I could. And never would I have imagined that it would, would end up with um, it becoming a book. It was just all for my own um, enjoyment at the time and um, for my own curiosity. Writing background previous to this, I mean, if you've written a book, I think maybe you've written something else. Or that's kind of what I do. I've always enjoyed writing, and but mainly just about things that I love. So it was a passion for the carpenters that, that fueled this project. So aside from writing in high school and college and that sort of thing, I, I, I don't consider myself until now, I guess, having a writing career. Um, I'm an elementary music teacher in, um, in Denton, and so I, I'll be keeping my day job. <laughs> and um, so, I mean, I always enjoyed writing, but it wasn't something that I was, um, you know, I wasn't a writing major. I, I wrote my first report on Karen in, like, eighth grade <laughs> English class, and um, my, my favorite story to tell about high school is that my junior year in high school, I convinced my um, American history teacher that the Carpenters were a big enough part of American history <laughs> that my term paper, which counted for like two full test grades, my term paper could be over the Carpenters and their, their music. And luckily she was enough of a fan herself that she let me write it and I ended up getting two 100s. <laughs> oh, uh, let me tell you one more thing. It was so crazy though. The, the term paper was just supposed to be a term paper, but I had a photo section at the back. <laughs> I had a list of television appearances. I mean, it was kind of my, my precursor to this, I guess, but it was a little overboard. But the cover was something that really surprised me. I had my most glamorous, gorgeous picture of Karen picked out, and it sent it, and they sent back, um, the designer sent back three versions of that, that cover, and then this one. And I was like, is that? Where did, where did this even come from? I, I had seen the picture in its uncropped um, form, and I turned my head a little bit and <laughs> squinted, and I was like, wow, they captured so much in this, in this one picture, and, um, and the eyes just draw you in. So actually, I have some of my, my co-workers to thank for, did I show you the, the picture? I was taking my favorite of the glamour shot, and this, this one, and I was going around the school where I teach. And I knew that even though a lot of them liked the Carpenters, they weren't what we would consider diehard fans so much. So I wanted to see what the general public thought. So I was holding up these two covers, and 9 out of 10 went for this one. 
And the reason for it was that they would pick up this book in a bookstore because it, you know, her eyes draw them in. It looks like the, you know there's something to learn here. And the other one, they said a few people said it looked like a romance novel. <laughs> so, so I, I knew that Carpenter's fans would pick up the book regardless. And I, I, as soon as they said, you know, I would pick it up even though you know I don't know anything about Karen and didn't think I wanted to read anything about her until now. So that was the deciding factor here. And um, we've got Big Brother looking over the shoulder here. And it just ended up being a, a great title and a great book. Okay. As far as my job and stuff, um, luckily, since we're on summer break, I think most of it's going to fall in this these next this next month or so. But um, you know, I, I I took a few days off here and there to do things, but. Um, I had to keep